y'all doing? Girl, it's time for another chit chat. And let me um let me do something to make me a little cute. I always feel like if you put on like a little rouge, some lipstick. I need to go through here. I have a lot of makeup. A lot. Like a whole setup. All right. That's something. Honestly, you could use mascara for your eyebrows. Let me show you real quick. Girl, that's dumb as hell. Don't do <laughs> Y'all know I'm never prepared. Y'all know how we do this. I talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. What I'm going to do, with, what I'm going to be doing with my hair is moisturizing my hair, okay? Because it is dry as heck and it's hot here. Yeah. During the summertime, JB is so spoiled because he's my husband and I only baby. My husband has a previous child who's she's uh, or he's I'm sorry, he's grown as hell child, but he's our only child together. We got him some musical instruments hands-on so he could play with it. One of them, it came with a... You made, you made my day. I wonder if tambourine doesn't sound right with secular music. A tambourine is always right with gospel or country, maybe a soft R&B. Because let's see, um, let me see of a, a secular song. No, if you buck, prime out, ho. I come in a club, check my drinks, throwing these bowls and busting these heads. Okay, you know what? Let me just stop it and get right into it, y'all. Put my hair down. My hair has been blown out forever. This is still that old. It's supposed to have been. Look at this long ass rod. I think this would be perfect if I could do two rods, but I'm not interested in that, baby. So thank you guys for all your comments on that video. I ended up just twisting my hair in these big twists. So all I'm going to do, you guys, is section my hair off, moisturize my hair lightly, not a lot. It's just a mess, child. Um, I've been really neglecting my hair, but what else is new? So I have here the Hollywood Beauty, some spray. Um, meaning water spray and some hair oil and that's it so let's just go ahead and jump right into it y'all okay so personal life school has started i know um jb will see how you know it's it's different you guys i feel like these kids and even young adults have so much anxiety and jb was really worried and even my nieces and nephews <clears throat> who are around his age were worried about going back to school and so but he, my baby had a great time for his first week you have to encourage your child that you guys i know especially when jb was that young and he was worried about going to school and making friends I would literally pray for him and pray over him because he would be, you know, just worried about making friends or even like worried about passing his tests. And I made it known to my baby. I'm like, you don't have to be a straight A student. I just need for you to try. That's all you need to do. Just try. That's that's all I ask of you. I'm not looking for perfection. But anyway, y'all, Um, so that's going on. So, girl... How did I forget? It's my birthday month. Shout out to all the Leos. And you in Belgium. I am so sorry, Merlene. Happy 21st birthday again, Merlene. <laughs> I know that Merlene's not in her 20s. I think you're a little bit older than me, right, sis? Um, but happy birthday, you guys, to all the Leos. And even, you know, just in general, it is such a blessing to be sharing another year. My husband's birthday was this... Um, month also my father's birthday my niece's birthday so my sister you guys saw in the vlog i did my sister wanted to have this collab birthday party celebrating myself my oldest niece and my dad um ooh, don't do that you see i just doing that and we had such a great time she ordered all these cakes um and you know my mom made all they both made a lot of food my mom was responsible my mom and dad did all the meats and my sister did all the sides I just wanted one thing because I I don't cook it at home at all. Um, Rotel dip. Good, we're good. School was good. Great to have another birthday going on, you guys. I really need to get my skin together now. I don't have. You see how this is going on? I'm getting more texture. I started to use ret. What is it called? Retinol. I started to use that, but I have not been very consistent when it comes to my regimen. I was really good with it. 
um, when I was in Arizona, actually. But I need to get back on it. Definitely need to get back on it. Girl, look at all these bobby pins. And once I can be a little bit more consistent, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys my updated skin regimen. Because there are a couple of things that I am doing differently. Um, and I'm because I'm also using some different products also, okay? As far as YouTube goes, y'all, before that, all of these celebrity devs, Pee Wee Herman passed away since I last spoke with you guys. Did I mention it in my last um, video? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. I did mention that. Um, Magoo. The rapper Magoo from the 90s. Y'all remember him? Up jumps the boogie. Boogie jumps me. I was so surprised to see that he passed away. And I guess I'm, I, you know, didn't know anything about it. But um, Genuine had posted that he passed away. Um, and I think he had a heart attack. Don't quote me on that. But I think he did. Young. Not young, but young. 50 years old. Heart attack. What's all that noise? Really, really, really sad there. Really sad there. Um, Child, we're going to talk about it. That Alabama brawl. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> I'm not going to get into it that much because I know I, I'm about tired of hearing about it. I don't know if you are, but I am. Let me go see what this baby's doing, y'all. Hold on. So it's been a week, and we all know what's happened by now. We all know that um, there's been some arrests, which we knew it was going to happen, you know. But one thing that I want you guys to realize, if you didn't know this, but that port that where that fight was going on, that is actually where, this is just a little disturbing, but it's just the history there. <clears throat> That's actually the docking area where they would bring in slaves. They would bring in, they would drop off cotton, pick up cotton, excuse me, from the slaves that are already there in Alabama, pick up the cotton, drop off slaves. Isn't that something? Apparently that family has been a problem in the past and they just have let them slide off. Even the cops have let them slide off. Um, I was even reading somebody mentioned a couple of days after the incident happened, she said that I guess she lives in that area and she's like, yeah, I'm very familiar with this, this family and they are a problem. They've always been a problem and it's, it's about time that someone finally did something about it. I'm like, wow, that's that's crazy to me. But let me tell you how petty Amazon is. I'm on Amazon. I'm, I'm getting my, excuse me, I'm getting my email. And I, you know how you receive emails from Amazon. And I get an email that says, we noticed you were looking for furniture. I'm like, no, I wasn't. Here's some furniture ideas. Ideas. They sending me pictures of white folding chairs. I'm like, y'all petty as hell. First of all, you know I'm black due to my personal history and what I've, I've purchased in the past. So you already know that. You know I'm in the South. You know that by my address. So you think because... <laughs> I'm like, who the hell do I need to contact? Because this is a mess. What else? What else, you guys? YouTube. Like, yeah, we're on YouTube. So, again, I'm watching, you know, true crime. I'm always going to watch true crime. Watching some of the videos on the Alabama Bama incident. Um, <clears throat> also... I started to rewatch a couple of old YouTubers again, some people that I haven't seen in a while. And YouTube is definitely tripping because I'm still subscribed to these people and I'm not getting any type of notifications. Um, so I showed up to S. Hutchison, one of her live videos. Actually, was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? And I hadn't seen her in a while. And so I showed up in her live. Some other people, one sexy Tina Child, Tina. <laughs> Went over to her channel, was watching some of her old videos. Went over to Michi Witchy, the blowout, Dominican blowout queen herself. Let me tell you something. I love me some Michi Witchy. And she's known for her Dominican blowouts. Also went over to Leo Body. Leo Body had, she transferred or changed her channel name to Leo Body Wellness. And I'm subscribed to her on Instagram, but I can't find her Instagram anymore. So I don't know if she's going through some personal stuff. I know <clears throat> over the years, her her mother had passed away and I, I'm pretty sure she's gotten a divorce. I think she was in Atlanta. Was she in Atlanta? Oh, she's from Atlanta and living in LA. But I miss Leo Body. There has been some changes going on as far as youtubers who do family vlogs so now <clears throat> the state of illinois 
has a new law that states that if your child is in your in your vlogs 30% of the time, they are, meaning children influencers, content creators, they are entitled, not even entitled, they deserve some of that income, which is really good because I know of so many, or I've heard of so many family vloggers that just do drama on their channel just for the view. YouTube, not surprised at all. Um, what else, what else, what else? That's about it, you guys, as far as um, YouTube goes. Hey, why do you have my tambourine in here? <laughs> I was showing them how to make it work. <laughs> Shady, tell them how did you look? Because barely. I mean, the first week. Uh, it was really good. We didn't really do anything for the first week. So what I'm watching on YouTube and TV. So I am so glad that Only Murders in the Building is back on Hulu. I absolutely love it. It has, this is funny. It has Steve Martin and Martin Short. And what is the little girl name? I can't remember her name. But for the third season, it has Meryl Street, And she's looking out. She's looking basic as hell. <laughs> but I love it. I love the series. Let me tell you something. Martin Short and Steve Martin, they are both ass clowns. I know I shouldn't be cursing like this, but they are clowns. And I love that slapstick physical humor. I love it. I laugh out so much when I be watching them. So I love it. Again, it's only murders in the building. There was a, um, one of my favorite movies. I, I love those little gems. Um, we live in a small town and it's all about basic house family lifestyles. I love those type of mus movies. So one of my favorite movies is What's Eaten Gilbert Great with Juliette Lewis, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, who was like a baby, like 18, 19 in this movie. And, um... Johnny Depp. He was so fun. Even though I didn't like his hair. But you know what you guys was so funny is the plus size woman, which I knew she had passed away years ago, and she actually lived to be like 71, 72. She lived here in Forney, which is the city I lived in. She actually passed away here and she has family here in Forney. So she lost a lot of weight though, y'all. Um, and she was that big. I know my sister was like, Was she really that big? I said, Yeah, she really was that big. Um, but I think she had surgery, you know, the, the, the one of those surgeries, either gastric or one of those surgeries to help with, you know, when you're morbidly obese. And she lost 250 pounds, which is a feat in itself. But unfortunately, a lot of a lot of the times when you have those type of surgery, it comes with a slew of medical issues. Because you have to think about it. You've been big. That person has been big all this time. The surgery isn't going to like resolve everything, but it's going to allow you to live longer and have an overall healthier lifestyle um i even remember speaking of an oldie y'all remember big cuz kiana she actually went to mexico to have her weight loss surgery done and she passed away due to some other issues but i'm pretty sure it was still it was after her surgery which is so sad after her surgery so um, what is that? Okay, so again, watch uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Child, I started back watching The 100, and I was so confused. I'm like, what the hell are they talking about, like, in another body? I forgot all about this episode. They're on another planet, and on this planet, they can go through a type of ordeal where you can switch bodies. You can literally go into someone else's body, and that other person is still there, but they're in the back. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to watch this episode this series all over again at least that season because i'm so confused and i want to finish the 100 though um i watch a movie there are certain movies that are a little disturbing to me and i can't really watch again but i decided to watch this movie again nocturnal animals with amy adams and jake or whatever with the pretty eyes <laughs> with the pretty eyes and you guys you know what amy adams is that phenomenal beautiful redhead actress that also played in their arrival she i was confused because she looks like another actress and this actress is actually australian and she played in secrets of a shopaholic they're two totally different people and for the longest i guess people thought they were the same person and they're not but anyway nocturnal animals great 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 um, movie. I've watched it before, but I didn't want to watch it again. There's another one of those stalker, I love you, but not leave me 
fatal attraction type of movies called obsession that's on um uh netflix that i want to watch i added to my list another movie that i watched you guys and i was like I was a little leery of watching it because it has that actor that played it and that man kind of freaks me out not because he played it but his entire look and everything about him just kind of freaks me out he's English I don't remember his name but he played the character it the the um latest one right he's very young looking but he's not he's in his 30s he looks like a baby boy but anyway devil the devil all the time this movie was a little disturbing, but it was good. And it had that vamp vampy actor from um, <laughs> from Tenet and the uh, werewolf, the werewolf vampire. Yeah, I never had my stuff together. I'll have the name below. Um, but it's a really good movie about a surrounding a, a boy, basically a boy, talking about everything from when he was a baby up until... A young adult in his life and what happens and so it has some a-list actress in the movie and i was really really impressed by the acting and the accents because like i said the vampy british actor had to pull off a southern accent now you guys you may you're not from the south in my opinion a true a really good southern accent is really hard to pull off but I do find that English people, people from Britain and in Australia do a really good job pulling up from, off a Southern accent. And probably, perhaps that's because a lot of people from those areas did migrate to the South. I mean, especially Texas, we have entire communities of Europeans. There's even a dialect called um, Texas German. I don't think a lot of people speak it anymore, but they, there's a Texas German. There's little towns here that are, I mean, there's a Paris, Texas, <laughs> you know? So anyway, you guys, that is it. I have nothing else to talk about now. I'm rambling on. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care. Bye.